and hearing some good news. Sounds like our clock has started to roll, so we are less than 40 clock seconds away. Clock is rolling, T minus 30 seconds. From static fire, T minus 30 seconds and counting. T minus 10. the data, look at uh, how many engines fired, how all the tanks behaved, everything, but uh, great to see Booster 9 lighting up down here in South Texas once again. We did hear that call out from the, the flight director for today's operation that we hit a full duration. We were targeting about a six second firing of those engines, uh, but Booster 9 static fire number two complete. All right, well, as I said, now's the time when we can uh, essentially start to safe the vehicle. We'll start to offload the prop, and then the teams can get right into looking at the data uh, and see how that static fire went. We heard full duration. We'll share some additional information as it comes in. Uh, I know everybody is excited to hear how many engines lit. We'll get that data and share that a little bit later. Uh, but everything went off today. Uh, with that, we're going to go ahead and wrap up. Thanks for, for tuning in for some more development testing here with Starship. Uh, definitely a reminder that a lot of space operations still coming this weekend. We're getting ready to launch Crew-7 to the International Space Station. Uh, that coming in the early hours Eastern time tomorrow. And then we'll have a Starlink launch, uh, assuming that gets off the pad, a Starlink launch later on Saturday night. So. Be sure to stay tuned in to us on social, on the, on the web for progress updates uh, with everything down here at Starbase and Starship as we continue the march on to flight number two. So thanks for tuning in real quick this afternoon. I'm SpaceX, SpaceX's Dan Hewitt, uh, and we'll see you next time at the Gateway to Mars. So